Welcome to Linux Desktop December, where I'm going to look at every single Linux desktop type on the build-up towards Christmas. And yeah, there might be 25 days to go, but there's quite a lot of choice to choose from, because we do seem to like forking things in Linux and not letting go of the past. So I'm going to start with Budgie, the desktop which started out life in Solus OS, but has now seen releases in other Linux distros, including Ubuntu, where we now have an official derivative of Ubuntu Budgie, as well as Debian, Fedora, and Arch. So Budgie is based on the GNOME stack, and they've tried to design it to be as simple as possible. The application launcher comes with a searcher, which you can start typing and it will find results immediately. So yes, calculator. Yeah, close enough. The layout of the desktop varies depending on the distro you take, but in Budgie Remix we have a plank on the left hand side. In Solus OS all the icons are in the top panel. Now a party piece with Budgie is that you've got this Raven notification and sidebar. So you can review all the notifications that have appeared on the system. You can access the control panel or settings manager. There is also an Alton F2 searcher for finding applications. So what can we come up with this time? Let's say Firefox. Come on. I wouldn't say the searcher is particularly good. It doesn't seem to immediately find the applications I'm thinking of. Now I know that sounds a really weird thing to say, like is it a mind reader? Well, no, not necessarily, but... <sighs> I'm going to make a lot of comparisons to KDE Plasma Desktop, and honestly, KDE Plasma Desktop seems to find what I'm after very efficiently. So staying on Firefox, if you're doing like a save to file, so let's do save image as, this is the layout you get. So the name of the file is right at the top there, and you've got a save button on the right hand side. So if I open up the file manager, the file manager in this case, being a GNOME based system, is Nautilus. And I have to say, Nautilus is appalling these days. It had so many features ripped out of it compared to the old GNOME 2 dot desktop. For instance, there's no custom choice per folder on the view type. You've either got a list or iconified view. If I open up a picture, the picture viewer is the eye of GNOME viewer. It's just a basic viewer. Now I know you've got the options of installing other picture editors, but connecting to another server, so if I open up a music video, making sure I don't play too much of it for copyright reasons, but there is a multimedia integration on here. So if I right click on the videos icon there, you can play, pause, next and previous from here. And I believe the same feature exists on Rhythmbox as well. So you've actually got the option of different audio or video players and that feature exists on them. Solus came with VLC, so yeah, same again, multimedia integration. So if we right click on some of these icons, so like on Firefox, you've got the option of opening the new window or new private window. So good integration there. For most of the other applications, when there's no other options really, you've just got the option to keep it in dock or close. It does seem fairly rigid here on the Budgie desktop. You don't have the option to drag applications out of here, for instance, and place them on the desktop, or even place them in the panel at the top of the screen. In fact, I don't even know how to get the applications into the panel at the top, like Solus has. Perhaps I'm missing something blatantly obvious, but I just, I don't know, I couldn't see it. So if I have a look at the system monitor after I've been messing around for a while, and uh, you can see I've clocked up to about 900 meg of RAM used. So in terms of stability, I haven't found Budgie to be particularly good. I had a crash in Solus when I tried playing a video, and it actually crashed spectacularly and never came back. And in Ubuntu Budgie Remix, uh, I had a crash when I was updating the software, and it booted me out and I had to log back in. So it's not entirely without issues. In fact, I'd say when it has crashed, it's been more noticeable than, say, other desktops where we've just had a crash box appear and been able to carry on. So that was a look at Budgie Remix. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.